So Blackburn Rovers and FA Cup action this weekend, so no previews or reviews for that. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different and join in with all the fun out there and do a League One table prediction video. That's right folks, back once again with another video this time looking at League One as a whole. Uh, I went over to the worldfootball.net website. They have a whole host of league predictors from the La Liga, obviously the Premier League, uh, the Bundesliga, and they've also got League One. So I thought I'd waste a little bit of my own precious time over this winter break, and I'll go through each of the remaining fixtures and see how the league table pans out. And let's kick it off right here, right now. So we're going to start right smack dab in the middle and build up to those last four relegation spots before focusing on the promotion places. First and foremost, Bristol Rovers, I feel they'll end up 13th position. Uh, they would consider that a bit of a success. Obviously, uh, they're currently lying in 14th position, so that's one spot better off. Next up is Fleetwood Town. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll be happy with this one. Obviously, they were they, they missed out on promotion last season, and I thought they uh, I feel they would want to be in a similar sort of position this time out. So a 14th spot is probably considered a bit of a disaster. Next up, Gary Bogus Blackpool. I would see this as a success. Obviously, they just got promoted from League 2 to League 1. And currently, right here, right now, as in January 2018, they currently sit 13th in the table. So a little drop in form in there, but still level on points with 14th place uh, Fleetwood Town. Next up, 16th spot, another promoted team, Doncaster Rovers. I feel they will uh, they will hang in there. They are currently in 11th spot, so that's a bit of a drop in form. So it just, just shows how much change there is going to happen in this league. Uh, according to my eyes anyway. Next up in 17th spot is them fakies, their plastic dons, um, uh, Milton Keynes dons, 49 points. They'll end up in 17th spot. They will consider that a bit of a success. Obviously they're right now, they are lying in 19th spot, so two points more, uh, two points higher anyway in the table. Next up is 18th place, and that is Plymouth Argyle. Obviously they were the foot of the table for a good chunk of the season. And right now in January, they are 16th spot. So they'll dip a little bit and head back towards the bottom section, but they'll stay up. Next up, Gillingham FC, another one of those strugglers early on in the season. Currently they find themselves in 15th spot, but I don't see that form lasting and they're gonna end up towards the bottom end of the table, but they'll remain in League One. Next up, it's AFC Wimbledon in 20th spot. They are currently uh, in January 21st spot, so uh, they'll be happy with this. You know, they, if, they, if they can survive this um, this season in League One, even by the skin of their teeth, I think they will consider that a success. So let's get to the nitty gritty, the first relegation of the of my table, and that is Walsall. Yes, that's right. I feel they'll end up 21st in the table. Uh, that's three places worse off than they currently find themselves. Um, so that's a bit of a bit of a nightmare season for them. Next up, this is a, this is a shocker. I thought Rochdale would be in the top ten, even higher, but I, I just, just just can't see it. So I think they will be joining Walsall in League Two next season. Let's go to the third relegation spot, second bottom, and it's Bury FC. That's right. I feel they'll get out of well, they won't get out of any trouble. They're going down, but they'll get off bottom spot. Um, and someone else will have the wooden spoon and will also join them in League Two next season. And that is. Northampton Town, yes, Black and Rovers only matched a point at Northampton Town, but I feel they will go down despite the change in manager to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. They currently find themselves in the 22nd spot, so um, yeah, they'll, they'll need some miraculous recovery, I feel, to get themselves out of it. And I, to be honest with you, I don't see it coming. They'll end up rock bottom of the table. Let's switch gears and look at the top of the table, and let's start with 12th spot, and that will be. A mystery. No, there it is. Oldham Athletic. I think Oldham will climb up that table. Obviously, they currently find themselves in 20th spot. But a change of manager, change of mentality. I feel they'll, they'll start climbing up the table towards the top 10. Next up in 11th spot is Southend United. Last season, they were in the playoff mix. Uh, but this one is, this season looks like they'll just miss out in that craziness towards the end of the season. Into the top 10 now. Oxford United, despite getting thumped by Wigan the other week. I still feel they'll be a top 10 side and they'll be in the promotion playoff mix towards the end of the season. Next up, Charlton Athletic. They all miss out on the playoff madness, but a top 10 finish, I would consider that a bit of a success. Next up in the eighth spot is Rotherham United. 
That's right, level on points in my eyes with Charlton in ninth spot. But again, they'll miss out on the playoff madness. And we're going to go creep crawling into number seven spot now. Peterborough United, they're going to be the unluckiest side in the whole league by missing out on the playoffs by just one position. With 81 points, not a bad return. So into the playoff mix we go. Who's going to make it? Who doesn't going to make it? Obviously, you can do the maths and see who's left. Uh, it's sixth place. It's Scunthorpe United. I, I think they'll be happy with that. They can get into the playoffs. They'll give them a, shelf, uh, a shot at promotion one way or another. It's a fifth place now. Portsmouth FC uh, currently find themselves sixth place in the league. So I think they'll do one better and get themselves into fifth place. Next up, Shrewsbury Town. Yes, it's a controversial one, this one. Shrewsbury Town obviously led the table for a huge portion of the season. Also currently find themselves in second, but I feel the bubble will burst slightly and they'll lose another five games uh, and that will make them drop out of the top two spots. And now let's kick it on. Who's also going to be in one of the unlucky sides in the division? That is Bradford City. Yes, they currently find themselves fifth in the table, 48 points. But now, in my prediction, they're up there, third place, with 94 points. They're a decent side, you know, big crowds. Uh, they deserve championship football, but they're going to have to go the hard way. Into the top two. It's only two sides left. That's my pooch in the background. Here it is. Wigan Athletic come in second. Blackburn Rovers top the pile with 103 points. So, four points to the gap. So, obviously, this is a Blackburn Rovers related channel. So, if I'd gone any other way, it would be mildly shocking and controversial. But I see Rovers hanging on in there and pipping the local Northwest rivals, Wigan, to the top spot. But I think overall, these two sides are the strongest in the division and they should go up. Uh, it's just a matter of which order that will be. Anyway, that's my predictions. What's your predictions? Whack them in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Uh, it's only halfway into the season. I know this, some of the results have been a bit of a downer, but hey, keep your chins up, support the boys, and let's cheer them on to Championship Football. Anyway, till next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.